All right, everyone, welcome back to the show. Today we have uh, what's going to be a little bit of a special episode. Um, we've had a couple March Madness recaps. We'll have another one of those coming uh, to preview the kind of wild Final Four it is. But today we're going to do a hypothetical fantasy draft for Oklahoma football, um, and, and we'll get into the rules later. Uh, but first, if you haven't, make sure you go check out our site, Surge Sports Network. We are ramping up all the content, getting ready. Spring football has started for Oklahoma and even the other teams we're covering. And so uh, as a, for Oklahoma's purposes, we'll be having even more uh, Sooners content on the site uh, talking about um, all kinds of things. So again, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check it out. Um, and so today, like we mentioned, we are doing a, kind of a, a special episode, a fantasy draft. So Hunter, Will you go ahead and explain the rules to everyone of how this is going to work? Okay, Jay, are you listening? I'm listening. Okay, got to make sure because everyone else knows the rules. You don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure our listeners know the rules beforehand before you do. Uh, anyhow. Hey, do, you, do you know them? Are you sure you know them, Hunter? Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyhow, okay. we're going to be doing a fantasy draft. Uh, we'll spin a wheel uh, with all six of our names on it. The teams are me. Jeremy and Traber versus Jason, Brody, and Jackson. And we're going to be doing a two-deep fantasy draft. So, uh, Brody, if you want to spin the wheel to see who gets the first pick. All right. right. Yeah. Uh, our team's got the first pick. Uh, I guess we're the red team then. Uh, anyhow, uh, with the first pick. Wait, of the wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. wait, let's get our team names in here first. Team names. Wait, do you already know who you're picking? Yeah. Oh, well, Dylan. Hey, we're our team okay, names Dylan Gabriel, first. We've been prepared, bud. Dylan Gabriel. Hey, yeah. wait, can we get team names first? Hunter, Jeremy, Trevor, what's y'all's team name? Red team. Oh, classic. <laughs> wow. All right, all right. Myself, classic. Jason, and Jackson, we're going to be the OGs. The OGs, baby. This is right, baby. All right, so, again, like you said. we can, Hey, hey we can be the newbies. We can be the newbies. No, you're we're red okay team. with the newbies. The red team, okay. that's what you no, said. We, we, oh. we want to be the newbies now because of our – Go ahead. Oh. So Hunter, we're going to be the newbies because of that first pick. Go ahead, Hunter. Okay. Wait, so Announce real quick it. before we make the pick, Hunter, how do like how, how does this going to work as far as who wins the draft? Uh, yeah, I guess viewers. Uh, well, viewers, yeah, viewers decide. I'll put together an article tomorrow going over the teams, all that stuff, and uh, viewers decide the winners. Are are we so, basing this off? Are we basing this off of? Who's better, like, going into the season? I mean, I'm, I'm – Like, which team would win? Jay, yeah, that, dude. Like, we're dude, spending too much time. Let's get into this. It's over his head. Just... So, what we're going to do – Yeah. They're going to tell us when the – They're going to tell us when the pick is in. You'll make the pick. Oh, the we'll pick's in. in. And we'll the move. I, I said the pick was in two minutes ago. Pick is in. The pick was in two months ago, Hunter. Uh, with the first pick of the 2023 red-white game draft, Red team selects Jackson Arnold, quarterback, nice. oh, yeah. freshman, Arnold, in spring practice, first day. Uh, I'm reading some stats for you. 69 for 71 with 5,428 yards and 33 <laughs> touchdowns for Eddie Radosovich. So uh, this is a huge pickup. The sooner uh, – red team, we get our star quarterback, the, the quarterback of the future – uh, I think this sets us up for a really good draft with – you look at every other position, there's just so much talent on this team. So you're splitting it up. You want to get the best quarterback available, and that's what we did right here. So to clarify, this is a snake draft, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so uh, we've had our pick in. Um, Wait, hold on. So hey, Hold on. Hold on. This feels pretty hey. obvious to me. Yeah. Hey, Brody. I'm ready to pick. I, I think we got to go. Yeah, what? I'm ready to pick. It's very sure. obvious. We'll announce the first. Dude, you you guys are a more dysfunctional organization it's than not the Houston Texans. We're, right we're ready we're to go, but no. me and Jack are on the same page. We're saying we're no, thinking Brody, the same thing. Brody, listen, I'm on the same page, but I would like these texts on my work phone so I can 
I, I can't do it Dude, on this other phone. Hurry All right, up. Bro. Somebody make your pick. All right. Brody, you say the first one. Jackson, you say the second one. Bro. All right. For the second pick in the spring fantasy draft, the OGs are going to select Billy Bowman. That's right. That's right. The best oh, yeah. team in my opinion. Jay, is that right? Are you That's sure? Correct. Are you positive? That's correct, Hunter. You have okay. his jersey, so you need to get his new jersey now. Yeah, Ooh. I know. I'm not happy about that. Uh, yeah, I was rolling. only express some um, frustration over the number changes, and I mean, I just spent $140 on his jersey, and now it's outdated. Hey, go and, support hey, him. Buy another hey, one. Hey, I'm feeling pretty good about our pick. We got the best player in the whole roster. Yeah. So, hey, I mean, Hunter. Hunter, this is going to change a little bit of our strategy. Yeah, it's we're all good. No, so, hey, Hunter, exactly. if y'all ready, if y'all we're ready, up so we can pick. Hey, hey, wait, wait. we got our pick in. Listen. Pipe down a little bit. Y'all are more dysfunctional than us. Hey, we're, we're not up, Jeremy. We're not. Hang up. on, we're hang up. on, real quick. All There's right. nothing to hang on to. The third oh, pick. But wait, Jackson. Before we say this next pick, I mean, obviously, y'all probably saw Parker Thune's tweet this week about Billy Bowman. And the fact that if you have not bought stock into Billy Bowman, and you see that picture hey, of Billy Bowman, hey, I bought stock since the, since the start of last dude, year. Dude's gonna be insane. Already is gonna be even just sick. All right, Jackson, go with the next pick. Well, so with the third pick in the Red White Draft, we will be drafting Brent Venables' favorite animal, and that is Danny Stutzman. That's right. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy Hunter Traber. Yeah. How do, you, how do you win championships in football? Defense. Thank yeah. you. Hey, your pick. We got our leaders too. We got your pick. Hey, got hey, hey your pick. Jay, before you talk too much trash, Hunter, how do you win? How do you win any games with Davis Bevel as your quarterback, Hunter? Because if we take Dylan Gabriel, you, don't, you have Davis no, Bevel. No. It's game over. No, we don't. We can yeah, get another do. quarterback. No, we don't. No. We'll run Wildcat the whole time and destroy the game. Him. Jeremy. The game's over if we don't – if we take Dylan Gabriel, Jeremy, can't win. Jeremy, game's over if you can't score, buddy. Jeremy, <laughs> you're not – we know for a matter of fact, 100%, you and Hunter will never draft Dylan Gabriel, okay? <laughs> Hunter? Jay, Jay, do you have your listening ears on? Did you hear what I said earlier? Like, Yeah, I do. I do. The reason wasn't about uh, I don't like Dylan Gabriel. It was about that this team is so stacked from top to bottom. So you're going to have a two deep. I, I think even our four deep really is pretty stacked. So I want to get the best quarterback we can possibly get. Okay, I, I think that's pick. the difference. Hunter, okay. let me take this next one. All right. And for the next pick, the newbies are going to select a monster. If you've seen any pictures in the last two days practices, Venables look like a midget compared to Canic. We'll take Canic right now. Yeah, He's going to see the field yeah, live. Wow. What? That's a good pick. We know that's why we did it, Jay. Yeah, David Bevel won't done. be a good pick for you though. Well, um, all right. We already got our next. I, no, no, no. It's, it's not your word. turn. It's, it's not, not your, your turn. turn. Too. Oh, it's not. Oh. Hey, and oh. Jackson, we do not have our next pick yet, so. <laughs> yes, we uh, do. Yeah, no, we don't. We're not done. We're not done on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, with the next pick in the draft, uh, we're going to be selecting Desan McCullough. Yeah, that's a good pick. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. He will. He will be the cheated position, don't you guys think? Jackson, yeah. I'm not drafting that guy yet. Okay, I saw your text. We're not jacking him yet. Hey, I'm okay. with Jackson. I think that's me and Brody team. both agree. But hey, okay. but the second one he said, the second one he said is the best one. The second one, yeah. correct. All right, you announce it, Jason. With the uh, what what pick are we on? Oh my god, sixth. the sixth pick. With the sixth pick and the red white draft. We are going to take super senior Woody Washington. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Shut down corner. This guy, leader. Right now, we got three guys on the defensive side of the ball that are just defensive leaders. Hey, did you guys, guys what are we thinking do? now? 
Hey, do you, you, you do my text? No, we no, have Jackson. No. no, not that <laughs> one. No. Hey. Man, I can't text on this phone. No, I don't even think that one, Brody. <laughs> All right. How about you just select whoever you want? Yeah, Brody. Brody, either that one, either that one you just sent me, or 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 I'm thinking leaning at running back here. No. No. We need some offense, guys. We need some offense. But it All doesn't right. matter. Hey, I got the pick here. I'll make it. All right. All right, with the seventh pick in the draft, we are taking the playmaker. Wide receiver one, Jalil Jill, Jill Farouk. Let's go. Jalil Farouk. I like it. I like it. You stole our guys pick. have a great year. That's twice in a row we stole your pick. They stole ours, so. Yeah. All right. Y'all are up. Traber, you're up. Play, play the music. With the next pick in the red-white draft, the newbies will be selecting Nick Anderson. Okay. All right. Hunter, is I, now the time like we got – Hunter, is this the time that we kind of uh, shaft them with uh, Davis Bevel? I don't know. Or should we uh, make the, or should we make it fair by letting them have Gabriel? I guess. No, no, I say we shaft. Do whatever you want to do. You wouldn't have a quarterback, but. Well, the thing is, only one of your QBs can play. So. Hey, we're actually going to go with. We're actually going to go with someone on our next pick who uh, needs no uh, introduction. Has been around this program. From the womb, dude. The guy's been there in Norman for years. We're going to go Drake Stoops, who one of the coaches said, uh, I believe it was a uh, wide receiver coach, Emma Jones, said, I'd go down any alley with this dude, okay? Newbies right, are going to well, roll with Drake Stoops. Drake Stoops. Stoops. Yes. Um, hey, all right. do we got our hey, two? I'm going to announce the, the next pick. Hey, okay. wait. Jason, are you good with the two we said in the text thread? There's one I'm a little leery about, but I'll let y'all go for it. I, I would take another one. Per- Who would you take? I, I'm. I mean, let Jackson go, and then we'll talk about it. So, with the next pick in the red white draft, the OGs will be selecting Austin Stogner, the best tight end by far on this team. Stog, baby, he's back. It's gonna yeah. be a great year for Stog. And, uh, yeah, right before you guys made that pick, uh, we were actually think I was saying we should take Stogner, and I think it was Jeremy saying, "Oh, that's too early. No one's gonna take him. That's too early." Yeah. yeah. Hey, on this next pick, Brody, I'm a little. Hey, I just gave you two names. You tell me one or two. If you first like name, you. first name you said, Brody. They're not gonna ne- think. Neither of one. Them. Neither one. What? That's not who I would pick. Who would you pick then, buddy? Give me a position. Running back. I disagree. No, there's. Okay, y'all can do what you want. I'm just saying I think the running back, and he had the the huge bowl game, but that's fine. So I mean, we can go Sawchuck if that's what you want. No, hey, go with one of the two guys you said. If you guys go Sawchuck, go ahead. We'll we'll take man. We'll take beast. No, Brody, go with the one you said on Brody. Go. Brody, Brody, go with the one you said on the offensive side of the ball. Okay, let's okay. get let's get our let's get that side yeah, yeah. locked well, down. Right here, with the next pick in the draft, we're gonna be getting our offensive line started. We're gonna be getting who I think is a future NFL star. Yep, mm-hmm. Tyler Guyton. I think yep. this is a very good pick for us because he's gonna. A lot of times, left tackles are very valuable. And we get our our guy there, start the offensive line. Whichever running back we end up getting, we'll have a good uh, player to hey, run behind. Hey, Brody, Brody, let me ask you a question, as someone famous used – infamous actually used to say. Let me ask you a question. Uh, why is the left tackle so valuable, Brody? Huh? Why is the left it's tackle the so side valuable, usually. Brody? Huh? The, it's the blind side usually. Not for a lefty. Oh, we That's because Jackson right? Arnold's the man. 
Wait, we can't move him to right? Well, hold on, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Jeremy, I mean, I can move him to right tackle for one. First of all, Jeremy, I actually don't even think you know anything about Tyler Guyton because last year he played left and right tackle, and him and who and all of the don't say me. Why are you energy. saying me? Your your teammates the one said left tackle. <clears throat> yeah, he he said blind. He just, hey, it doesn't matter. We're taking him as our left tackle. He's gonna be I know, a football he's player. He's trying to, to prove a point. Hey, y'all pick in. Yeah, y'all are up. Where is it in? in? It's in. Bro, it's I, in bro, I, I will. I will. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the next pick, uh, red team will be selecting Gentry Williams, Booker T. Washington. Uh, last year, crazy, never saw the field really, besides like punt returns, all that stuff. Uh, you know, Parker Thune videoing at games was like, this guy is so fast, it's hard to track him. He said he's never had that issue before covering any uh, athlete, especially at the college level, which usually. I mean, once you're been filming for as long as he has, you know what you're doing. And Gentry keeping them in, in frame was just uh, pretty much an impossible task. And uh, we're going to keep it on the defensive side of the ball with this next pick. Uh, one of the newest Sooners, uh, Wake Forest transfer, Rondell Bothroyd. Heard a lot of good stuff about him so far in spring practice. Uh Really expect him to have a big year. Last year, he had about like eight sacks or something like that. Uh, really talented. One of the best transfers in this pa past year's transfer class all across the country. He was rated pretty high by 247 at his position. So expect Rondell Bothroyd to have a really good year for the Sooners in what looks to be a, a, a talented defensive line room. And, and we know that Gentry is not guaranteed to start. Bothroyd is. I, I mean, that, there's no question, guys. He's a starter on the D line. Mm -hmm. uh, Brody, there's one guy you left on the t left off the team that's super important. Hey, guys, you want to just end this Kendall right now? Dolby. There's no Kendall Dolby. I don't see him. You want to end this right now? End it. Why? Yeah. Let's just take Barnes and Sawchuck. Game over. Oh, okay. Go ahead. No, that's do what it. we're going to do. Oh. I will be announcing our next pick. I'm yeah, kidding. Do it. We're not going to take do it. Jeremy, Jeremy You'll be stuck with that too. Jeremy, you would get your guys. We don't want to do that, bro. You're not smart at all. You clearly kidding. don't see what we're thinking. It's over your head, just like every single thing on this podcast has been so far. <laughs> all right, you're up, guy. Up, Brody. Uh, so, with the next pick for our team, we will be taking – Five-star defensive end P.J. Atabore. The dude can do it all. Freak of nature athlete. Nothing the dude can't do. All right. Now, he, now we don't have this one yet. Dad, is there any names or position groups I sent to the text thread that you well, would like I don't to know pick? because y'all cut out for a second. Did, did R. Mason already get drafted? No. You want him? What? You want him? I'm fine with that. I'm just kind of surprised we took PJ over R. Mason. Personally. Hey, hey, let's do it. Announce it. Let's take both. All right. With the next pick, the OGs will draft R. Mason Thomas. The guy has bulked up. I don't know how many. 17. Pounds it was 15 He's pounds. He put on a lot pounds. of weight. 15. It was like 15, 17. He's up to like yes, two. Four. He was already quick as a cat. So to me, he's going to have this. To me, this will be a breakout year for R. Mason Thomas, big time. Hey, Jason, and, congratulations. Congrats, Jay. Why? You just used a simile and an analogy in the correct way. <laughs> cool. Our, our pick is in. Our pick is in. And with the next pick, the newbies will. Be, this guy is not a duck. It's five star recruit Peyton Bowen. Ooh, that's a good pick. Hey, hey, before we move on to the next pick, Hunter, Jeremy, and Traber, how many yeah. snaps do you think he's playing on defense this year? He's starting. You he's think starting he's going to start? Yes. Uh, I line. think he will. But if I mean, he doesn't, by Texas week, he will be a – Okay. Uh, okay, okay, I agree with that. I think let's, Bowen – I don't know if he'll start, but I think he's too talented to not be on the field. I, I yeah, think okay, but listen – who do you think they go to the, the, the start starting of the season as the two safeties then? Reggie Pearson and Billy Bowen. I don't know about Pearson. Pearson Harrington? Pearson's probably Harrington's a start. cheetah, buddy. Reggie Pearson has so much experience. Yeah, but Pearson, 
Hey, hey. No one's saying no RSJ. RSJ has a chance. Hey, Key hey. Lawrence has had a really good spring, too. Yeah, Key Lawrence has to be right consistently picking it up to another level. Yes, Who is? Key Lawrence. Lawrence. Hey, I, I mean, know, I'm, but guys, we've been burned time and time again with Key Lawrence. Let me see like it. I know we can do it. Let me see it. Exactly, Grody. Exactly. Hey, we got the next pick in. All right. We're going to start our O-line uh, with someone who's trimmed up a little, I think. Savion Burt. That's you a good pick. You saw the whole game absolutely destroying pick. people. That was our next pick. Uh, he's, he's, to me, out of all the offensive linemen. He's the main NFL guy. He's the guy that's going to make the most money in the NFL. I think Bird's the guy. Agreed. Hey, do you like that name I sent? Yeah, yeah I like I like I like the first one you sent, Brody. I do not like the second one. I only sent one. Well, Jackson just sent that one. Was... I don't like that one. Yeah, I don't like that one either. All right, I'll make the first one. Okay. All right, with the next pick, we're gonna be continuing what they just did, picking O line. We want Andrew Rain. The guy that we were... battled injuries. We were going between Bird and Rain because he's battled Rain's injuries. Kind of the guy at center. He is. Jackson, I like your first one defensively. Okay, that's good. And you want me to say it? I think so. I think we need him up the middle. Yeah. All right. So, with the next pick for the white team, we'll be taking a dog, Isaiah Coe. Yeah, I think Coe. I think Coe this year. We He's saw it when he played team, last right? year. He, I mean, he he had really good good you know, numbers, and I think it's just going to be this year, I mean, another year in the system, veteran guy, he's going to be that leader in the middle, I believe. Hey, Jay. Yeah. You ready for this? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the quick one-two punch. Uh, I guess, uh, does the order matter here, guys? Does it? I don't. I don't no, think it matters. They're they're gonna, gonna, can, can we get the, can we get right, the draft music? That's yeah, what they're going to yeah. do. They're going to take the two running backs, which we could have done. Yeah. Which uh, is I'll just do both. it alphabetically. Javante Barnes. And Gavin Sawchuck. I See, I think One, that's against the rule. The that's field. against the rule. Oh, oh no, boo. No, we no. We could have done that, but we didn't do it. That's, That's fair. Really no. sauce, dude. That is so it's weak. really not against the rules, Dad. If you think about it, it's a two Only and, one and of Jay, them. you might want to take Dylan Gabriel pretty soon. Take Dylan Gabriel next pick, guys. Yeah, Just... we'll take Gabriel. That's our next pick. I'll take Dylan Gabriel right now, but I think that's cheap, and I think it's weak, and I think it's something – Somebody would do just to rub it in somebody's face when we hey, could have drafted bro, both of them guys. It. They wasted a pick. We're good with it. I don't know no, why. I think it's wasted dumb. a pick. That that you is the wasted dumb a thing pick I've ever on seen. a second stringer. So okay, hey, so they can't play Sawchuck then. That's fine. You got to pick one. Dude, he's a backup. what? This isn't Jay. So football, so bro. backups never play. Yeah. Am I hearing that correctly, Jay? No, they I never just see think the field. No, no. Answer the question. Answer I, my question, Jay. Hey, it is a dumb pick because now they got they could have had another starter in there and they decided to go with the backup. Hey, so, I okay. mean, what? you know why? I, hey, you I have that why I you just said. did that because you guys just wasted a pick on Dylan Gabriel taking away before no, you I just take him. You wasted a pick both running pick. backs, but whatever. You, you guys were going to take them later on because you knew we wouldn't take them. No, we I just thought when y'all said we weren't going to take Gabriel Dude, you and Arnold. You took Jackson Arnold away with the first pick when you could have waited way longer. Jason. You literally said hilarious. you were about to take yeah. both running backs. And I said I'm not going to do that. Did I not? No, you didn't. It's an unwritten rule, boys. Unwritten rule. Jay, 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 just get Jeremy's running back. He's available right there at the top of the list. But what I'm saying is it's just kind of weak. But that's fine. Okay, we'll be weak. Y'all can be those people. That's fine. Dude. Hey, oh, J- Dad, Dad and Jackson, y'all like any of those names I just sent? Um... Second name that that's who I'm most high on right now. Second. I don't know. I feel like we can wait to get that. I mean, I mean, or hmm. we took Gabriel already. We got another pick. Yes, duh. That's, that's why I said names. Hey, hey, hey. Third, 
Third name. What about Third. what about receiver? That's one of the names. Gibson? That's one of the names. <laughs> hey. What's yeah. the time limit on a pick here, guys? Ooh. Yeah, like you that. guys are running out I of like time. That. What about you Gibson? Like hey, I like the one I just sent, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Y'all go with Willing what you to... want. That's fine. Y'all go with what you want. All right, hey. first guy. No, I think we take the original one that he's thinking. I think we get another tall guy, Jaden Gibson. I agree. Stogner like backups, and, if you like back the red for him. Dude, who's gonna guard Stogner and Gibson down there? It's just well, I mean, y'all got a backup quarterback as your starter, so <laughs> yeah. If you like backups, dude, Jay, you're an idiot, man. He's yeah, not gonna please. start, probably. He's not gonna. Start. He won't start at the get beginning. But you yeah, just called him a backup. He's not quarterback. You, Hunter. I hope all he blocks I'm you is, on Twitter, Jay. Hunter. Hope Hunter, all I'm saying is y'all drafted a guy at number one pick that probably won't play in the first few games oh at least. I mean, that Dude, is kind of – Do you understand? You, like, I, do you I may as well just hey, – The okay. viewers, hey, the Jay, viewers are, pick, are picking who wins this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's whichever I'm, team I'm, wins. Hey, Jay, it's not, I'm going to turn away from the camera real quick. And I'm going to argue with my wall. Maybe I get something more out of it because that's what it is like arguing with you. Like you, you I know how it no works. And, and, and so so the way this works is basically y'all are drafting for what the viewers think, which I I, I, I guess. Hey, we're going to let our team talk for itself, buddy. We're all right, let's let our go. Team talk for itself. We'll explain hey, the team Kramer. once we make all the picks. But, make hey, pick, I got Kramer. two more picks. Let's get them going. All right. The next pick, we're going for some D-line, and we're going to get Ethan Downs. Went to uh, Guatemala or somewhere, didn't he, on a faith-based That's trip. That's where I went, guy, dude. He, they went to Spain. This guy's a leader, dude. Ethan Downs a leader. Hunter, go Big ahead with too. the next one. Go to the next one, Hunter. Which one, Jerm? What I said? The one you said. Yeah, the one okay. you said. Yeah, uh, looking at our roster right here. Kind of need some interior defensive line help. Uh, and who's better to get than the guy that might end up starting a uh, really high recruit from a couple years ago, Grayson Halton. Guy I really am looking forward to on this D-line. Uh, you hear him talk about Todd Bates and why he chose OU. He said Todd Bates is going to get him to the NFL and – Grayson Holton just really looks like that guy that's going to have a breakout yeah. year pretty well, quick. Well, well, the one issue with Holton is that he just can't get above the 280 mark, and that's been a struggle, it sounds like. So we'll have to see if he gets Schmitty can hey. get him up, and then if so. Hey. I agree. Hey, guys. Hey, we got Jay, I know. hey, wait. I can tell Jay is still ticked off. So, Jay, <laughs> we, could do, we could do something that's never been done. Of course, we can do whatever we want because it's, it's our podcast. Isn't it our but, pick, though? We could hey, trade. Just a second. I'm saying that at the end of this draft, if we want to talk about a trade, we'll, we we'll can work out some it. trades at the end we'll of the draft. So you don't have to be all here for like this, like this, like I, all Saturday. Because guess studying. what? Guess what? Our next pick, we're taking both the starting starting tackles, man. Give me Walter Riles, both the starting tackles. Yep. Y'all can get even more backups yep. on your team. So who? Walter Riles. We're getting both the starting tackles. How do you know he was starting? Okay, Walter buddy. Rouse is going to start. Have you not watched this film from Stanford? So consistent. The dude's going to get on the field. Experience. Experience. Hey, Jackson, Bill tell him our next pick now. So, um, with the next pick, we will be uh, taking debatably the fastest receiver on the team, Andrew Anthony. Yep. Hey, we got Andrew Anthony. He can take the top off the defense. We got Farouk. We got Gibson and Stogner. I mean, come on now, man. Bro, like, what's your, bro, that's tough. Anthony's an interesting guy. We'll see. I mean, we'll is. see how much PT he gets. He has a lot of potential. I think he does. He does. I think that's undeniable. He does. We're ready for our next pick. <clears throat> We've got to beef up our O line a little, and we're going to do that. And the only way to do that, really, best way to do that, is a guy by the name of. Caden Green, good pick. That's that's he he's got a he's very he's gonna have a we'll see how much he plays, but he's he himself a needs to I actually a know bit. a 
someone in my class uh, named Roman is a uh, has connections with him. Grew up a little bit with him, or family did, or something like that. So, W. Hey, this next one, Hunter. Let's look at our. What do we really need? I'm, I, hey, Brody. Yeah. Uh, in a little bit, you need to add punter and kicker. So I want to yeah, add yeah, those yeah. too. Hey, Brody, Hunter, I, I said we go with that one you're saying. You Brody, I got the next two. I trust in you. Hey, hey, Hunter, talk about Emmett Jones and what he said about this cat. Hey, I already know the pick. Yeah. What's taking so long? You want to do it, Hunter? No, you can, Drew. Well, this guy – Probably made the best catch in the last five years in the Sooner uniform. It was oh. on the deep. It was on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. DJ Graham. We've we've heard the comparisons. Uh, hey, he, hey, he, his former teammate Theo Weiss compared him to Odell Beckham Jr. So and Emmett Jones is uh, foaming at the mouth right now at this guy, dude. I mean, I, I think that's probably out of everything when we go to the spring game. The, that's one of the most interesting things that I'll be watching is where DJ Graham is because I think he's a guy that is kind of an X factor receiver and just something that we don't know, but you got to look at a guy like that. Who's a senior. I mean, he, that that's the route he's trying to go now to the NFL is be a receiver. So he's hey, not going to just throw it out there and be a receiver. If he doesn't have the talent to do it, not just that Jay, but his career. I agree. Know, Jay. I agree. Right. And not just that you heard Farouk say that they're going to spread the, he doesn't need to be the wide receiver one. He said, we're going to spread the ball around this year. And that's the one position we real. I mean, outside of Stoops and Farouk, we really don't know exactly yeah. who's going to be the next guy. That's the one – that is an interesting position to me. I mean, I, I would say there's a there's a bunch of guys who, who could do it. I think uh, – y'all picked Anderson. I think he certainly has all the talent to do it. Jaden Gibson, I think he – we yeah, all know yeah. he, can, he can do it. Andrew Anthony's got the potential. DJ Graham, I think – We haven't mentioned – you, and we haven't missed Bunkley it. Shelton too. I think Bunkley Shelton and Hester. People forget these are guys that were late enrollees last year, and they're. I mean, they're not no pushovers. Hester produced a lot at Missouri. Bunkley Shelton produced a lot of Arizona, at Arizona. Well, so it'll one be interesting thing. to see what, what they can do. But hey, before we make our next pick again, everyone, make sure you guys subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, follow our podcast, leave us a review. Um, Apple. Podcast, same thing goes. Again, if you haven't checked out our site, Search Sports Network, we got all kinds of things uh, like Oklahoma content. Uh, we got Missouri, Kansas, Alabama, Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, all kinds of baseball. So, again, if you haven't uh, checked that out, make sure you go check it out. It is surgesportsnetwork.com. Uh, definitely worth a visit. Um, if you go to our site and, and you check on it and you click our latest article, um, which is an Oklahoma softball article. You come right over here to the left. Uh, it's going to give you the option to type in your email. If you do that, it will subscribe you to our site, and you will be notified whenever we post an article, podcast, double take, smoke room, whatever it may be. So, again, make sure you go check that out. And, yeah, let's kind of uh, get moving on with this uh, fantasy draft. Hey, so before we move on, just a little bit more on that last pick with DJ Graham. Emmett Jones, to me, at, in the off season. Can y'all hear him? No. You cut out. No. No. Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear you. We can't hear you. We cannot hear you. We can't hear you. Hey, <laughs> whose pick is it? it? It's our two picks, but he's okay. You, it, so somebody he would... needs to go for your dad because we can't hear him. <laughs> I think he was talking about the. Brody, go ahead and give your pick. Then. He has our two picks. Lost connection, guys. Sorry on it. You're good. All right. We didn't hear what you said about Emmett Jones. I was just saying the Emmett Jones to me that 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 hiring in the off season. Uh, you go back to Kel Gundy as a wide receiver coach, and then uh, Washington last year. I think Emmett Jones, as far as development of the wide receiver position, is the best wide receiver coach they've had in a while there at OU. And so I don't think don't compare gonna... to Kel Gundy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, listen. No. I'm talking about no. developing the receivers, Jackson. I'm not comparing him as a 
coach like we don't know that yet we'll see see we've seen it you've seen it at other schools jeremy okay i agree i get what you're saying i get what you're saying but again kale gundy was here for so long that that's a tough one to say i get your point though i get what you're trying moving on with the next pick the ogs are taking a guy that you know i don't even know if he's on scholarship yet but cheetah position here is having another good camp. Justin Harrington, guys. It's got to be time for him with Desan McCullough to, to, to really beef up that cheetah position. I think, and, and Jeremy, you may, you probably will disagree with this, but, uh, you know, they played Deshaun White last year, but to, to me, that position was mid last year. Well, and, and I agree with that. I think this year you'll see more of, a, of a Justin Harrington. I, I do think one of the things that they need to do better is not just play one guy. Like, I think you got to give McCullough maybe a couple possessions off, let Harrington go out there and see, especially early on in the year. And I've seen some things where they might install a package with both Harrington and McCullough. I mean, because well, these are just two, like, yeah. big guys. I mean, athletically or oh. physically gifted players. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it'll oh. be interesting to see. We've heard it with Harrington every single year. Uh, we heard yes. it last year. And he yeah. didn't do too much, so it'll be interesting to see if he can kind of well, put it together. We also did hear that Desan McCullough said there was packages where he's going to be able to rush off the edge. So that, I'm sure that's where we'll be able to see Harrington some this year if those packages are used. Yeah. Death taxes then, and Justin Harrington's going to play. I, I'll believe it when I see. Jay, you got hey, our next pick. The next pick. This guy has just put his head down as a freshman, worked his butt off. Okay, and it's going to pay huge dividends this year. The guy's bulked up. The guy looks the part. The guy has his head on straight. He's a baller. He reminds me of Lance Mitchell, who's on staff there at OU. Did we lose him again? <laughs> Looks like we lost him again. He might need hey. to go to your room. Uh, hey. Make the pick if he doesn't. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it because I think I know where he was getting with it. You better hope you're right. Yeah, you guys need to pick it up. It's been man, a long on, time man. between these picks. Clock is ticking, man. Come on, man. Go ahead and pick, guys. Go You're ahead and take him. Who's mid combo, dude? He needs to leave and join back, dude. But anyway, is there no I'm, penalty for going over? No, I'm fairly certain where he's going with this. Go ahead. I'm Pick it. Let's go. All right, he should be joining back. Today, Junior. We can go ahead and do our two picks. Yeah. Yeah, you guys should lose your pick. It's been about two minutes now. So if you guys had connection issues with someone, you'd want us to do the same thing to you? Hey. Well, well, I, I know, know who we're picking. picking. I think yeah, I know we've been talking this McKenzie. entire time. We know who we're picking. Okay. Kobe McKenzie, he looked the part, and similar to what he said. I mean, the dude's big. So that was a, that's our next pick. We're, we'll have Stutzman and McKenzie at linebacker. I don't think you can get any better than that in this type of fantasy draft, especially with Kanick off the board. So uh, hopefully we can get our areas. Hey. You you were you were getting to Kobe McKenzie, right? You were getting to Kobe hey, McKenzie, who's correct? You talk voice. Okay, can we just move on? Yeah, y'all go ahead and make nope. your two picks. I can hear you go now. Ahead. Hey, you hey, were saying you Kobe, right? What? Kobe McKenzie, correct? Kobe McKenzie, yep. Okay, next pick. Okay. Go ahead. Three Hunter. minutes to get the com- uh, confirmation. Uh, one guy, uh, Jackson mentioned earlier, kind of got that ability defensively to play either defensive back or safety. So, uh, Kendall Dolby, transfer from NEO. Uh, older hey. guy, expect him to make an immediate impact for the Sooners as there's a lot of openings, whether it be corner or or safety. Uh, there's really no positions besides maybe a couple in that secondary that's locked up completely. Well, I so, would, hey, I where, say that where would I, you like me to place them on your depth chart? Corner or safety? 
Let I think look. he's going to play a flex position like a nickel package. But that's not on the depth chart. That's not on it for this. Can, corner? Okay, corner. 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 Hey, corner. Have I, hey, corner. You don't have one of our picks on here, man. Who? Uh, Gentry. He's it. not on here. Gentry's on there. Yes, he is. Where? Andrew oh, okay. I pulling. see it. I see it. Hey. I see it. Hey, it's just your go ahead and fill in the weird. safety okay. position next to. Yeah. Go uh, ahead and fill in our next pick. It's uh, Reggie Pearson. Guys, there's no way he doesn't see the field. There is zero chance that he's going to be sitting on the bench after the year he's had. You, Captain, the experience he's got and the hits he can make. No, I, with Pearson, I, I certainly think he'll be on the field a lot. But my thing is, you know, he's transferred from Texas Tech. If you ask a Texas Tech fan about him, I'm sure he has his flaws. I'm sure maybe in coverage he he's not – all that. I'm sure maybe when he gets matched up against a fast guy, maybe he's not all that. I'm not saying that's what the problems are, but I'm sure there is problems with Pearson. I mean, Oklahoma fans, what we've seen from him is the hit he laid on Dylan Gabriel. So I'm interested to see just how good he is. I think that's another thing we can look at uh, in the spring game. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of potential with Pearson. I think starting or not, he'll play a good amount at safety. Go for it, Jackson. Oh, oh right. I don't agree with that. No, no, yes. Just I disagree, but I mean if you want to He's all been right, putting or... in the work. Hey, we've heard hey, just you all you gotta know is his is his nickname, man. Oh. I don't wanna say. Or you or we we can do the guy I just texted Brody. Y'all want both of them? Yeah. Yeah. Dad, are you good with that? I don't know if we take both. I think we take the second one. Yeah, I, I don't know about the first one. I, I think we go second right, one. Right. Take right. the second one. Okay. Go, Jack. Guys, you take forever. So, with the next pick in the draft, we'll be taking Lawrence. Okay. Don't speak much on that. I mean, are we full in that position now? I can't see that. We have our, we have Lawrence and Bowman. So, guys, uh, I'll send a couple names. You guys, no, I think it's obvious. The we go take a running back. We're gonna take Marcus Major, Caleb. Hitch. Why they can't take another running back? Well, that's they true. can't. Yeah, I like you that guys pick, take the absolute All longest. Right. With our next pick, we ain't gonna take much longer. We're gonna take someone who I think has a very good chance to start this year. I'd love to see him start. Oh. We're going to go with Jake Taylor. I mean, you look at all the options at guard, I, you know, besides Savion Bird, I think Taylor, he has all the potential to be, a, you know, really good player at, at guard. So, uh, yeah, that that's where I think we'll go with that one. Get our old line even better. We got Walter Rouse, Andrew Rain. Walter Rouse and Rain have played a lot of ball. Tyler Guyton has a lot of potential. Jake Taylor has a lot of potential as well. So, yeah, that, that's y'all are up. Trevor, you want to do it? Go ahead, Hunter. We got them both. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, with the next pick, we'll be taking Jacob Sexton. Big sexy. We're gonna beat. We're gonna beat beef up the interior both sides of the ball because our next one is. Go ahead, Hunter, with our next pick. Derek LeBlanc, uh, one of the guys that Interior. made the trip to oh, the yeah. Cheez-It Bowl, four-star defensive lineman. Expect him to find a way onto the field. Uh, when it's all said and done at OU, he's going to have a really good Hey, career. you guys good with the first guy I texted as hey, our next? Wait a second, Jackson. I, I can't see this, but I just want to throw out some names to see if they're taken already. Uh, Gavin Freeman available? Yep. Okay. Trace Ford. Yeah. Yep. I mean, those are two names I'm seeing that stand out to me that why are they still out here? Well, because you look at their position, Nick Anderson, DJ Graham, Drake Stoops, Jaden Gibson, Andrew Anthony, and Jalil Farouk were all, were all taking over Freeman. Jackson, not – All right, y'all. Let's take a pick. Can 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 I just announce the pick? 
Yes. Just okay. No one's holding you hostage. All right. So with the next pick, I mean, I think we got to take this guy, and that is Trace Ford. Yeah, me too. I mean, we have two young guys on yep. our defensive ends in Adabara and Thomas Trace Ford. He's that veteran we can put in there. So I think our defensive end room is as good as it can get. Next pick. <laughs> I got my guy, but who texted? Is it us? No, it's us. Yeah. We get one oh, more. No, my bad. My bad. Jeez, guys. Yeah, it's been about a century, so I, I lost. Take that that I want to. All right, just take them. All right. So with the next pick, we need to get our second defensive tackle, and that's jo- Jordan Kelly. A lot, lots of experience, kind of proven. Know what you're going to get out of him. How many more picks we have left? A bunch. A bunch? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it would be much faster if it didn't take you an hour to make it. All right, let's hit the lightning rounds, guys. Next two picks. Go ahead, Hunter. Uh, Caleb Schaefer. Oh. Transfer. <laughs> Jackson, are you upset over that? Uh, dude, they took Jake Taylor over Caleb Schaefer. I don't know why. I, I love Caleb Schaefer. More potential, I think. I think it's a one game. Who do you need to win? I'm taking Cam Schaefer. I'm taking and, uh, okay. Give me another, uh, I guess, veteran, uh, McCade. Does that set our lineup now? We're, we're good? Yeah, we're good on starters. We have to get bench linemen, too? I mean. We're not going to get a two-deep line guy. Yeah, look at what they he has listed. There's, there's not the. Possibility for that. So, hey, hey uh, this is a fast lightning round from you guys. Hey, let me really cook impressed. on these next two picks, guys. Okay. All right. Next, first one, I'm going with the seat belt. Seat belt. Macari right. Vickers. Yep. And guys, I, I didn't say this over the text there, but we're going to stack that position. And this one right here, we're going to put behind Macari Vickers. We're going to put Jaden Davis. Jaden Davis. He's, he's, he's a veteran, um, and so we got our freshman in there. If Vickers, you know, he, he's a freshman, we got our experienced guy right behind him with Jane Davis. Two very good corners. I think both of them will see the field a good amount this year. We heard J- Jay Valai talk about Makari Vickers. Vickers, he, he said, hey, he's always over there working when other guys aren't here. So, yeah, I think Makari Vickers, uh, all the Sooner fans should be excited about his future. Okay, we're gonna go with uh, Hunter. Let's let's go with the broken air kid. Yeah, Robert Spears, Robert Jennings. Spears Jennings, a guy that if you know me all year long, could not believe he was not on the field. Yeah, and uh, gonna kind of keep that trend of the young guys and uh, give me the pit bull, Josiah mm-hmm. Wagner. Hmm. Do you like what I just texted to the chat, Brody? Is that okay with you? All right. That's fine. That's fine, Brody. Yeah. You you make the pick. So – We'll actually be playing this guy, uh, offensive guard, and that's Aaron Parks, you know, because I believe – didn't he start out his career offensive guard? Bro? Yeah. That's a, what I thought. I mean, you look at it right now with the tackle situation, there's no Walter Rouse in spring camp, and there's no uh, Jacob Sexton in spring camp. So, Parks is probably going to be – Parks and Kane Green will be getting a lot of looks at the one of the other tackle positions. We'll move them inside. Put them, and that's going to set up our line with Rouse, Parks, Rain, Taylor, and Guyton. Next pick. Do you just want me to make it? Yeah, you just make it. All right. So with the next pick, I think we need to bring some some entertainment, some flash to the Oklahoma Sooners. So I think we go out on a limb here and take Hollywood Smothers. So some guy's going to get into the open field and just make plays for you, and that's Dalen Smothers. OK, 
Okay. Y'all up. Give us Jacoby Johnson. <laughs> he, ain't on the, he ain't on the spring roster, buddy. <laughs> and? Buddy? We have spring roster right now. Yep. This I is a spring. It's, it's okay. the spring roster. Jacoby yeah. Johnson is right. on the spring I'll roster. I'll take over. All right, give I'll us Kip over. then. Give us. We'll take Kip Lewis. Hmm. Kip Lewis, I mean, he. He he's a good player. He just got to put on some weight. I think that's what it is with him. It's that yeah. simple. Wait, Jackson, you agree? A couple months ago, you said he's going to play as a freshman. No, that was Lewis Carter. No, oh, that's Lewis oh, Carter. My I bad. Think. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that was Lewis Carter. Hey, I, I, I thought you were on Kip Lewis us, too. My Lewis bad. Lewis Carter is going to get on the field. Hey, give us someone who probably is going to play quite a bit. If Stogner Stogner's had some issues health wise, we're going to go Caden Helms. He's also run. having some issues. Yeah. Health hey. wise. Yeah, I know. Good pick, though. He's got the athletic athleticism. Hey guys. Yeah. Um, is Josiah Wagner out there? No, buddy. Have you just have you just not been paying attention? <laughs> Jay, you really That's fulfill the senile it. part, man. You have no idea what's going on. Hey, what about? Do we? Like, I'm trying. I can't read that. It's so small on my phone. But do we have any defensive linemen available yet? Hey, I got a D lineman I like. Okay, I, I would pick. All right, take him, Brody. I know exactly what you're thinking. This one is going to be Kelvin Gilliam. Yeah, he slept on. I'm. I mean, he struggled. Oh, health wise, he played a little like a good amount last year. At is D-line. Grimes still available? Grimes is still available. Keep in and mind, stripling. With me. And stripling. And so is Marcus Major. Yeah, they can't take Marcus Major. Yes, yeah, I know. But Jeremy's foaming at the mouth for Marcus Major right now. <laughs> All right, who's got the next two picks? We got one more. We took two. Who? Hey. Two, Jay, man. We took Gilliam. Oh, yeah, that's all we took. All right. Mm. Freeman. Gavin Freeman. I like that pick. That's a good pick. Just more He's offensive Freeman, weapons. Man. He played last year. He's going to play. Dude, dude, our wide receivers are ridiculous. Y'all there? Yep. Yeah, they have yeah. Like Come on, let's go. Who's going, guys? I got it. With the next two picks, we're going to take Jacob Lacey and Reggie Grimes. Beef up that D-line some more. I don't uh, know how much next time pick. Grimes is going to get, but. Hey, I got our next two picks. All right. All right, next one, we're going to go Jason Llewellyn, another tight end. I mean, he he's injured currently, but uh, with Stogner potentially missing some time this season, I think, or just with how Stogner's been injury-wise, I think could see him play a little bit. And then the next pick, um, this one's tough, but I'm going to go – can I walk – Guys, I'm going Kanai Walker. He's like 6'2". Uh, he was hurt a lot last year. Mm-hmm. I think he has a lot of potential, as much potential, if not more, than anyone in the safe, in the yeah. corner room. So, we'll get him behind Woody Washington. Um, and I think that completes our corner room. And, uh, yeah, I really like what we have with Woody, Vickers, Davis, and Walker. All four of those guys can go. Y'all are Go up. ahead, Hunter. Uh, next pick, we're going to go with an, one of those transfers that really never saw the field last year. But wide receiver room looking a little different than a year ago. Uh, give me J.J. Hester. Yeah, and, and with J.J. Hester, I mean, he was injured, the foot injury. So that was another reason why he couldn't get on the field. I, I think he, I think he'll see the field. I mean, he's what, 6'3", 4'4", guy? I mean, that's. 
Next pick. Our, what, do we need another receiver? Yeah, we have room for him. Y'all going to take him? What do you think, Hunter? Take him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll take him. All right. Hey, let me make one of these picks. I got one. Okay, I got one too. All right. This one I may get a little bit. I may – y'all may not like this one, but this is one of my picks. I am I like Damone Harmon. I think mm-hmm. – you yeah. talked about all the guys in the safety room, and I said this last year. Um, I think he has a lot of potential as far as he's very athletic. Uh, he was actually on the field quite a bit, started like two games. I think you talk about Lawrence, Pearson, Jennings, Bowman. I think he'll be in that – uh, rotation. I think I don't think he'll start. I think he will play. Okay. Uh, do we need a backup quarterback? We do. Guys, time to make that booty call. So now y'all are stuck with y'all are stuck with Davis Bevel. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, you are. Time no, we're not. we're not. If they want to pick a, if they want to pick. The, their QB already. I mean, that's just going to bless us. No, even. we're not y'all picking the picks. QB. We're not picking the QB. I know y'all want Jacob Switzer. There's other guys. So. Y'all are up two picks. Traber. Traber, go ahead. Pick us two. Mm. Oh, with the next pick, we can, we'll can. take Eric McCarty. No, we won't. ACL injury. I do love the guy, though. <laughs> hey, wow. Look, hey, Hunter, 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 if it's just going to be a backup anyway, let's take McCarty because he, he, he's the most underrated recruit we got. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, if he went to a, a school That's not named McAllister in southern right. Oklahoma, would have probably been a four- and five-star. Uh, watched him play. He was banged up that game, too. He's banged up most of the season before the ACL injury. And he, he's just a different breed. You look at him defensively, he's making pretty much every single tackle, lockdown defender, and then offensively, like, he was playing running back at McAllister. And it was – you look at him and you're like, this guy can play at the next level at running back, even though he doesn't necessarily have the size for that. There's just something about the guy on – he does not go down. There's no other way to put it. And McCarty – one of these guys defensively that I'm really excited about. Hey, our other pick is going to be another guy I'm excited about for the future. Uh, February is known for Groundhog Day, Punxsutawney Field. We'll take Phil Picotti. Are we yeah. in February? No, but I'm just relaying back Punxsutawney Field. That makes no sense. You talk about analogies. That makes no sense. Yeah, was it a good impersonation of yours, Jay? It makes no freaking sense at all. Exactly. Jackie, let's go. Fired back Jackie, he had to make sure you were paying attention because there's right. guys hey. are, so, yeah, um, is that a minute. Let's. I mean, at an hour we stop it. We got to get going. Jackson, go. So with our next pick, the one thing that OU needs is they they need a championship. So I think we should take Champ Sanders, Ashton Sanders, defensive back. All right. Hey, we've been saving Jeremy, this. Pick. What is that? A good analogy, Jeremy. No, but go ahead. All right, with our next pick, um, we're going with the wide receiver, and we're going to do a little position change of our own. Give me one of the last two QBs remaining on the board. <laughs> Grandson of Barry Switzer, Jacob Switzer. We're going to move him to wide receiver, take him off the board. And, uh, yeah, don't I don't think he'll play too much, but, yeah, we'll, we'll move him to wide receiver, and uh, that's – just going to leave oh one God. QB remaining on the board. <laughs> All right. Okay. On a more serious note, uh, was that both of your picks? Yes. Yeah. They're done. Okay. Oh, you're not doing that. Okay. I just <laughs> on, on, a, on a serious note, uh, Caleb I, I saw him in uh, Headington Hall getting out of the elevator. Man, he's a big guy. Mm. Josh Bates. Uh Backup interior lineman guy that really 
am excited to see them. There's just so much talent on this team. This freshman class is just so good. I've said it before on other podcasts that this team is just top to bottom, just such a good class. And also, um, I think that this is the only true center that Bill Bean was recruited since Creed Humphrey. If, I mean, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because Rain did not come in. Yeah, at- no, Rain was in center. Brody, I like those two picks. Yeah. What's our next pick, Hunter? Oh. Uh, defensive tackle. We need a backup there. Uh, a guy who played a good amount of time last year. I expect him to be in the rotation again. Uh, give me Jonah. Yeah, and he's an interesting one making a position change. All right. Um, I guess I'll announce our first pick. Yeah. So we'll be actually playing this guy at Cheetah, and that's Jaden Rowe. Yeah, I mean, he can play everywhere. Cheetah, corner. Yeah. Safety. I'm excited to see. Let me announce the next one. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. I mean, this guy, you know, he he's best running back on the team last year. Um, this guy, I mean, he, he was <laughs> better than Gray last year. Just didn't get the PT. Um, but Marcus Major finally gets his chance this year, guys. Jeremy, put the poster back up in your room. He's he's legit. He's legit. his turn, baby. No, but we're going to take Marcus Major on a serious note. Yeah. He's a real home run hitter, if you will. Well, Gray wasn't, but go ahead. Uh, Do we need another defensive guy, Hunter? Marcus Stripling? Yeah, go ahead. We'll take Marcus Stripling uh, for our first pick. Who you want as a backup quarterback, Hunter? I yeah, think we'll Hunter make this one. Just leave it blank, Hunter. Oh, no, you guys are actually looking at him. That's right. Go ahead. Walk yeah. on. Yep. Walk Multi-sport on athlete. Multi-sport yep. athlete. Playing basketball and, and football. Hunter Cornejo, backup year. quarterback. Yep. He's not on the draft board, guys. Can't pick him. Dude, yeah. we're not doing this, Brody. You changed the position. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Hey, y'all can take Switzer if you want him over Bevel. We don't need a backup. Why, why do we need you two? need now? a backup. Switzer or Bevel? How about we go with our punter, Josh yeah, Go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead, Hunter. Pick uh, our punter. Jay, Jay doesn't listen. Make sure you have your listening ears on, uh, Josh Blaster. Trained by Turk himself. Yep. All right. Is it? It's our pick now. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think we should just get ourselves a punter as well. Take Luke Elzinga. What a name, Luke Elzinga. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's go and take our kicker. Yeah. Let's go and get our kicker too. Let's get the man with the plan, Zach Schmidt. Hey, did y'all don't see- mind that pick at all. Uh. I'm actually getting my kicker of choice after that pick, uh, Gavin Marshall. Did y'all see uh, Burrito Boys in town for Pro Day? Burrito, yep, Burrito Boy. Yep, I did. All right, well, I say, I say, Hunter, Jeremy, y'all's team, we go ahead and uh, y'all go ahead and uh, pick your QB, Switzer or Bevel, and then we can uh, just go ahead and wrap this thing up. Maybe talk about. Uh, actually, actually, I'm I'm gonna get my uh, backup tight end, Blake Smith. Yeah. All right, uh, that's a good way to end it. No, no, no. We need uh, we need a backup QB for for y'all's <laughs> team. So, do you want Jacob Switzer or do you want Davis, if you will, Feeble, Beeble, or whatever? Hey, hey, Brody, what color is the sky? Huh? What color is the sky? Yeah, uh, Jacob Switzer. Uh, I am. 
Why didn't you take you guys, Devilish and Dark the tight end? You guys are very familiar with Darren Ruff, and that's how I feel about Feeble Beevil. Uh, and, and not to mention, Jackson Arnold does not have his number on the active roster right now because of somebody named Devi, Davis Beevil. Feeble Beevil. It's, Davis it's Bevel. Just, that, that's why we had to take Jackson Arnold and not uh, Beevil, and then take Jacob Switzer so Jackson Arnold can get his rightful number, number 11. Hey, Hunter, is there anything worse that could happen to you in the next year? Or No, let me put it this way. Is there a worse punishment than sitting back and watching 15 hours of Davis Bevel play football? Is that like the worst – Thing that could happen, I mean, because yeah, me, and I mean, we're talking about a fantasy baseball league. I think the loser should have to rewatch the Texas and TCU game well, every snap. Well, Bevel takes no, hey, let's talk on this Davis Bevel stuff, dude. He listen to this one though. game, Jay. Uh, you're irrelevant right now. Anyhow, uh, my Phillies, Reese Hoskins goes down, and now there's talk of the Phillies trading for Darren Ruff. That's just as bad as having Davis Bevel on your roster. Like, golly, man. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, we, I would try. Yeah, that about wraps it up, I think. That about wraps it up. We got our teams. You can well, see them can I, on the screen. Uh, are y'all interested in potentially making any trades with us? We are open for no. trades. No? Okay, no, I don't think I we need to make any trades either. So. I got one right now. What is it? Your pick of Sawchuck or Barnes for Billy Bowman. Are you no, kidding? No. No. What? Well, Jay, you're the one who was crying over the picks. So <laughs> That's I, I fair. gave you the opportunity to get one of them. Hey, you got to them so much that you cried team. about it for five oh, minutes. So let's just close it up. So let's close it up. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, Hunter's going to uh, – me or Hunter, whoever it is, we're going to put together an article on our website, Surge Sports Network. Again, if you haven't checked out – Surge Sports Network. That's where you can find podcasts, articles, all that um, from our. It's the you know the home for it. So make sure you check it out. It will be up on there. Um, follow our Twitter uh, at the Sooner Surge. That's where you will actually be able to vote on which team you think would win in a hypothetical matchup. That is going to be Hunter, Jeremy, and Traber's team, or myself, Jason, and Jackson's team. So uh, again, we appreciate everyone for listening. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, subscribe to our site as well. Uh, and just vote on whichever team you think would win. Boomer. Yeah. Boomer. Yeah.